Today, we have a very simple water test. We are testing the difference between my tap water and store-bought water. Let's get started. So the basics of this test are simple. What differences am I gonna see between my tap water and store-bought water? Now, obviously, water chemistry is very different and it's different from place to place. So my chemistry is gonna be different than yours. Um, same thing for store-bought water. It's not necessarily perfect. There are chemicals and minerals and things put into water to purify it or add to it. So it could differ. All right, so with a quick Google search, I actually found a Oklahoma City water profile for my water. Now you can see here, it's a long, long list, has a lot of stuff on here, a lot of scary stuff to look at, but you have all of your compounds or contaminants or things found in the water. Some things are added, some are just found. So here's an example of all of the inorganic compounds, fluoride, lead, barium, copper, arsenic, stuff that sounds real scary. Um, it has a highest level allowed. So on some of these, like fluoride, I have, um, you know, four. It says whatever parts per million, four, and then ideal goal, four. Um, I would be lying if I knew how to read all of these ratios and things. But some of these things are removable. So stuff like chloramine or chlorine, in this case, as it's added, is actually removable from water by boiling and or if you were to just let it set for a while. You can avoid some of these chemicals by of course going and buying water but even store-bought water will have things added or found in it so this is a brief kind of history of mine again i don't really know uh, everything about this so i can tell you that this is my water profile this is what i have to deal with if you want to find out yours go and look online you might be able to find it super easily or you might have to contact your local water plant or something like that to be able to find this out now, back to the test. But for this test, I went and got a gallon of store-bought water and I got a gallon of tap water from my own tap. I mixed together the recipe on screen and um, started the fermentation. I started the gravity at 1.072 for both of them and let them go. I put some Fermate O in to allow it to start fermenting and it's took quite some time. Um, I did notice that the store-bought water actually finished sooner than the tap water, and it was by about, about uh, I don't know, 15 days earlier. So there's that. I did record a tasting after the primary, so here we go. All right, we are out of the primary, and I wanna do a tasting. Now, I will note, this has taken a long time. Um, the primary started on November 23rd. Um, today is, we're about, I don't know, 55, 54 days later. So the primary took forever. Um, there was a different gravity reading. So we both started at 1.072, I believe to start. And the um, gravity of the tap water took, or the whole thing took longer. So. This fermented by day 35. The store-bought was done at 35 days, 1.000. The tap water took a little longer. Of course, I think that's partially because of mineral content or whatever other chemicals are in uh, my tap water. So now they look pretty similar. Um, the tap water, excuse me, the store-bought water did clear up a little bit, but when I racked it over just a moment ago, um, it I started up a little bit. So. Let's get a preliminary taste test, and then I'm planning on cold crashing these to see if I can get things to drop out of suspension. So in my right hand is the store-bought, and my left hand is the tap water. I mean, they smell the same to me. It's got a really, um, I'm getting like a, a, a pretty, like a red wine tannin. It's really kind of buttery smelling, which is odd. Mm, I like this honey a lot. Okay, let's taste it. Store-bought first. Ooh, the tannin on this is nice. It's pretty big bodied. It's still got a little alcohol, but it's it's smooth. The honey character is pretty well um, retained. I think the low and slow fermentation is helpful. Sometimes you have to be patient, but it allows you to not fight losing characters. 
that's, that's not bad. Okay, switching gears, here is the tap water version. Now, your tap water might be different than mine. Just keep that in mind. Whoa, yeah. Way, way, way different. Okay, I had to double check for myself. I didn't believe this was dry because this has some sweetness to it. Like more fruitiness, more character from that honey, but it is dry. 1.000, also dry on the store-bought front. That's super interesting. I'm a little surprised. So this is more tame, more mellow. Um, doesn't have as much high brightness with it. But the, the, the tap water version, much fruitier. I'm, I hate to say it, but I like my tap water more than I like the store-bought water. I'm shocked. I like this one more. It's definitely got more honey character. It's got more mead quality to it. Wow. Okay, so that, that's not the final tasting. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put, I'll show you what I do. I'm going to take, put that back in there and then cold crash this, hopefully get them to clear up. And then uh, I would like to get a secondary opinion. I'll probably, we'll see if I can get BC to come over because uh, he has, he used to have tap water, village tap water, um, like me. I think he did, or he's at least familiar with it. So I'll be back. All right, BC, I know you have an affinity for the village area, Oklahoma City greater area. Um, yeah. Tap water. Yeah, and the so village thought, of Oklahoma has really excellent I, tap water. Uh, I figured who of, of any person to get for this taste test than you. So I'm really this, excited about that. I lived in the village for like five years. Well, so and I think that'll be fun. I hope I know <laughs> this water profile. So I've purposefully covered them to where you, mm -hmm. I don't even know which one's which at this point. Um, I've kind of tried to forget about which is which, <laughs> to be frankly, to be frank with you. So uh -huh. we're gonna, um, we're gonna just so that's see what the happens. only variable here. Only variable. Same okay. same honey, same yeast, same <laughs> ABV, same okay. everything. So I'm just gonna we're gonna say right hand is something, you'll know okay. um, on the screen. Left hand is the other. Got it. Is there a clarity difference? There's a clarity difference. Oh, would you look at that? Right okay. hand, something. So right hand's definitely um, just a little more clear. There's more of a brilliance to it. Yeah. Yeah. They're both clear. Uh-huh. But yeah, there's definitely, there's like a slight cloudiness to left hand. And uh, just when I opened the left one, there was a slight, uh, maybe degassing. I yeah. I think it's carbonation. Yeah, I don't see bubbles coming up from the bottom. So I think it was just, and it's only been bottled for a couple, for about three weeks. So okay. That's an, it's a good thing. It means it's not going any further. All right, so you're going right first? Yeah, I was just sniffing it. All right. I think I've done some taste test stuff with this, so I'm gonna hold back and give my notes to let you talk first. Okay. It's it smells crisp. You can smell honey, mm -hmm. and it's not that like that kind of like bland floral like like dry mead smell. It it mm. there's a sweetness in there. Like it smells like honey. And these are for my purposes of every test I do, these are dry. These are dry. <laughs> I mean, it's assumed at this point. I was prepared. Yeah. yeah hey, you know the spiel, the, all the things. But this one has a sweetness in the uh -huh. in the nose. This one does too. To me it has this one um left hand has a little more like a breadiness that I am getting. Yeah, they're like a like a yeasty. Yeah. But it's subtle. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not like, I would say that the nose on this one is a bit more muted. It's a little bit more, like this one kind of rides up here. Mm -hmm. This one rides a little bit down here. They're pretty similar. Yeah, I would agree. But I do like, this is um, um, mango honey. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, I've both of those five gallon carboys back there are mango honey. Uh -huh. It's pretty great honey. I it is say. really good stuff. <laughs> it is really good stuff. They're both traditionals with mango. All okay, right. we tasting them? Yep, you go right first. Here we go. Not kidding about it being dry. Mm -hmm. The nose is makes it have has some sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, it's gonna be sweet. There's a yeah. There's like a little bit of perceived sweetness down in the middle of my tongue that kind of helps with that honey profile. Uh huh. It is dry and it does have a little bit of youth to it. Yeah, these are not old. Huh? <laughs> these are 
maybe three at, at max, three months. I would, I would say that's got kind of a soft water profile. Uh huh. I don't pick up a lot of minerality or sharpness in the how I sense the water profile in it. It's it's softer. Uh, in a way that I feel like lets the honey kind of do its thing yeah. without it competing against yeah. some of that mineral flavor. It's nice. This is a nice mead. All right, so flip over to the left hand now. That is considerably different. <laughs> yes, it is. There is more minerality there. You can feel it on your tongue. Uh huh. You know, like this is a little more not say viscous, but it's, the body's different. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's almost. <sighs> This is gonna sound weird, and I'm sure you'll edit this in some weird way. <laughs> on the back. As you're saying, <laughs> slow it, zoom. <laughs> when you're a kid, when you're a kid, you ever lick a rock? That like quartz or granite or something I, like that. I cannot say this I have has got many rocks in my life. This has got that kind of like it's minerally. It's got more minerality mm -hmm. than this, and so oh, yeah. Really, my question then is like, is the village tap water a harder water than? whatever store-bought uh, yeah. water you got. Uh-huh. Which was the the red label, was it the Ozarka? Was Ozarka, the, yeah. Yeah, the one that... Spring water, yeah. drinking water, or distilled water? Spring. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are very, very different. And this one, They're to me, has stark. way more... Um, this one's better. Sweet. I, I would agree. I would say that this mm -hmm. one, my left hand... I prefer right. the nose on the right, but the flavor on if the left is better. there's a combination, yeah. Yeah. Nose. Interesting. And this, I feel like... By the way, they again both went dry, but there is more, more sweetness mm -hmm. uh, preserved within yeah. this, which is very interesting because this one has lost so much sweetness. Yeah, I like the flavor of this. Actually, this is this is the type of, I'd finish this. Mm -hmm. This is good, uh, and it's good for a dry mead. And it's good for a young mead. Mm -hmm. um, not to say this one isn't good, but this one the flavor profile hang. It's more muted. It hangs lower where you're having to kind of reach for those flavors. Whereas this one's dancing around up here. Like you, you, you're not at a loss for finding anything flavor wise in here as far as honey notes, floral notes, that little bit of bittering that you get in a mm -hmm. mead. Like it's the got balance, all it's those. It's got more balance to it. Yeah, interesting. it's well balanced. So here, this question to you, which one do you think is which? If you had to take a guess, take a stab, which is which? I'm gonna say this is Ozarka and this is tap water. I'm, I'm fairly certain you're right, but I'm going to double check my records because I honestly don't remember. So this is, yes, you're right. Left hand is tap water. Then right, right hand, hand was Ozarka. Was Ozarka. And I do think that there is more mineral component added. Mm -hmm. if for, I think better in this case. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think it accentuates the honey. And I was, I'm, I remember tasting this, of course now I remember, but I remember tasting it going, Man, this is actually pretty good. Like this tap water, like <laughs> yes. I, was, I was fully expecting to go into this being like, man, every time I've ever used tap water has been the biggest mistake in my life. And not to say that, you know, not using it has been um, detrimental or anything, but in this situation. Mm -hmm. that, well, it turned out well, it, it, it brings out those honey flavors. And, you know, I've, I've been talking with uh, one of the admins on my Discord about water profiles. Mm -hmm. And there are some uh, brewing salts or salts that you find naturally in water that do tend to bring out the sweetness in malts. Mm. And we've been wondering if they would bring out the sweetness in honey, even in a dry mead. So it has me wondering now <laughs> what our water profile would say about your tap water and if those things are present in it in higher concentration than here. So a big thing, you started talking about the water test a long time ago mm -hmm. and I, um, I did not want to do the same extent that you are going to do it in the <laughs> yeah. future. I'm sure that you know somewhere in the future there might be a, a part two to this or something on BC's channel where it's a more in depth. But um, I do think water profiling is very important, and it's it's kind of next level brewing. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think most videos will automatically tell you to just never trust your tap water, <laughs> which could be true. Let's be real. Wherever I think you're it's at, a good rule of thumb. It is, yes, for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> But obviously, in, in some regards, sometimes your tap water can be good enough, if not, you know, in, in some circumstance, better. Now, sure. I don't know that I would use tap water for everything, um, but this does have me wondering, you know, when you're choosing. These are these are totally different brews. They're totally which different, Which is, yeah. like, it, it makes me wonder, 
had I used, let's say, tap water for previous brews, where would they be now? Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. So interesting. This has been a lot of fun, and I figured. Uh, I'm I'm very I'm very interested in this. Like this, uh, this in part like inspires me to continue forward with the experiment that I have. So planned. if you want to see, <laughs> if you want to, uh, um, I think as BC mentioned in his Discord, they're kind of talking more about this. If you'd like to be part of the conversation, I'm not saying it's not happening in my Discord, but it's ha happening greater in BC's Discord. So if you would like to be part of that conversation and uh, everything, hop on over to his Discord and of course his YouTube channel and everything will be in the description down below. Um, but yeah, this has been a lot of fun and uh, I, I am. I'm curious to see what you do with yours. <laughs> I, I've got an ever-changing plan for that. Man, this is good. <laughs> like it so, really brought out the mango flavor. It did. It, I was shocked. I was. It's fruity. Thoroughly. I like shocked. it. Uh huh. So, cheers. <laughs> <laughs>